In this video we will learn about the technique which is the generalized least square and it is a remedial measure for the random effects model when we have heterosidasticity and autocorrelation. So this is a publication in which this technique is used and we are going to uh, learn about it. Primarily we will have it uh, uh, its review. Uh, it had a panel data of 90 companies and the time span was of six years so we are going to see that how the technique was applied after the descriptive statistics the inferential analysis is conducted and in this uh, variance inflation factor and the heterosidasticity is assessed and autocorrelation is also tested and Hausman test for the selection between fixed or random effects model now we have these results uh, and the results guided towards the uh, three techniques that is pool OLS and then the panel effects model that is either fixed effects or random effects model and then GLS was used. The reason was that with the random effects model there was the problem of heterosidasticity and autocorrelation as you can see the serial correlation is present because the value of its statistic is uh, statistically significant and also the heterosidasticity is also present because its p-value is also less than 0 0.01 and the Hausman test is also applied and in this case it is statistically insignificant due to which random effects model is the suitable choice that we are making and once we found that random effects model is suitable and there is presence of heterosidasticity and autocorrelation the generalized least square method is the suitable way of doing the calculations that are better than the simple random effects model so these are the various uh, statistics the slopes and these are the results now we will go towards data and use another data set to run these commands and find out about generalized least square. So here we are. The data is already s uh, loaded in the data. ID, years, dependent variable and these in three independent variables. We are starting with the fixed effects model. This is the Driscoll and Cray standard error method but we need the standard fixed effects model for which we will run this command this is the fixed effects model and now we will come to the store of this uh, information via this command so the information is stored and then we will run the random effects model to see that what are the results with it and finally the Hausman test command is executed to make the selection between random and fixed effects model so it is statistically in, uh, signific insignificant. It means that random effects model is more suitable as compared to the fixed effects model. Then we have to uh, check the issues with the data. That is the heterosidasticity. And uh, for that, we primarily run the fix uh, fixed effects model. And then we run the modified wall test by using xttest3 command this is the command and here we see that there is presence of heterosidasticity and there is uh, this point to note now we come to the or serial or autocorrelation and you can see that this is the command xt serial yklr and we have executed the command and it is also statistically significant so it means that we have to resort to a better technique than simple random effects model both heterosidasticity and autocorrelation are present now we come to this command for generalized least square and in this command we have a few keywords this is the first one xtgls that is uh, this is the generalized least square for the panel data xt and these are the variables and then we have panels at ROSC. it means that now we are assuming that the panel data that we have has heterosidasticity and then we have core 
and that core or correlation is related to PSAR1 it means that panel specific auto autoregressive 1 and then we have no log this means that the iteration log will not be generated we will be getting clean results otherwise the log can be can created with with a lot of repetitions and iteration so we are avoiding that and force keyword is used to find out the results to get the results regardless if the observations are unevenly spread uh, over time so with these uh, keywords we can now finally execute this command and now you can see the results it is time series FGLS or and in the background we have generalized least square and we have uh, panel specific AR keyword this is what we used and panel is also considered to be heterostatic now the results are there uh, luckily they are desirable but the thing is that we have coped with the problem of heterosidacity and autocorrelation in the estimations and I just want to re remind you that if you want to have more of such informative videos regarding software research and estimations and quantitative tools you can subscribe to this channel like if it is liked by you actually and this will benefit all of us so now we have dealt with the problem of heterosidacity and autocorrelation uh, when the random effects model is the suitable version thank you